perhaps I could have got away on B for you catching me. You remember that? You remember that all, eh? You killed me. You remember that? You killed me. Niggas like you just prove what the Pecker would say. We're just beasts, willing to do anything, kill each other. No mind, no feelings. Shut up, nigga. Mm. Least why they ain't gonna die like you gonna die. Like a slave. I ain't giving no lifetime of misery and sweat to this peck of wood. I'd rather die than be a slave. You peck of wood. That's right. You peck of wood was oppressed in your own land. We was free. And you brought us here. In chains. But now we here. And you just better know. This is just as much our land as it is yours. And after you hang me, kiss my ass. The fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Barashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, prayers, blessings, and salutations to the elect that's teaching his word in sincerity and in truth. And that's teaching in the name of Yahweh Barashem Yahweh Shai. The fishes of the sea also shall be taken away all right now where i got this verse from was here in the book of hosea chapter 4 verse 3 therefore shall the land mourn and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven yea the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away okay so here in this verse is, is talking about you know it was a, it's going to be a famine in the land of food and water okay and the lord said that uh the beasts of the field shall languish the fowls of the heaven shall languish and the sea and the fishes in the sea is going to languish which means it's going to be put to death okay and that's what you see now here in babylon the great which is known as america you see it upon the seas and stuff all right you see it through the whole world all right not just here in babylon but you see it through the whole world but when i read this scripture you know, when I read that verse, it made me think about, you know, on the fold tip, just on the fold tip, it made me think about the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that's under them, those men that you see on the highways and byways teaching in the season and out of season. It made me think about the prophets, you know, through the four corners of the earth, because the word fisher, the word, the, uh, the word fisher or fishes can also fold into the prophets. And also, the word C can be folded into people. And um, I just want to grab two presets for the word fish, fishes, fish, and uh, C. All right. And um, let's get uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 18. And Yahweh Shai, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishes. And he say unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. All right. So here, here it is. You have Yahweh Shai calling his, you know, his men who he had called at the time, which was Peter and Andrew. Um, he said, if you follow me, I will make you fishes of men. So the prophets, even just like as Peter and Andrew, even the rest of the men of the ministry, the elect would be what fishes the hundred and forty four thousand man the men they would be set up to be fishes of men to bid them to bid the elect to the marriage of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and that's exactly what the prophets and the apostles are doing of great millstone that's what the true men of the Lord are out there doing they fishes and they don't stop until the Lord removed them from the streets so they out to what fish for the elect Okay, it says 19, and he say unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. All right, and just to grab the precept for the uh, for C and how C could represent for people, just on the full tip, you know. Uh, this is Revelations chapter 17, and I start at verse 1. It says, um, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me saying unto me come hither 
And I will show unto thee the judgment of a great whore that sitteth upon many waters. So remember, many waters. All right. So let's jump to 15. It says, And he say unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations of, and tongues. So that waters represent people. So here on the full tip, just with the title of this uh, of this video, you know, basically the title is the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. And this title, basically, I'm just trying to, Lord willing, it be edifying, is to tell, is to is to enlighten you that there would be a famine on the word, and that the Lord would take away His men from off the corners of the streets, teaching. When that famine come upon this word of ours. You know, this gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, then those men will be removed and be taken away. No longer will you be able to receive salvation. Whatever your judgment is, it is. All right? Whatever your judgment is going to be, it's going to be. Because it's no longer that you're able to repent. The doors of repentance will be closed. All right? And to back that up, this is. Uh, uh, this is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, say the Lord power. I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And right now, you know, all of going back to the apostles, you know, as long as, as, long as they've been out teaching for 25, uh, 25 certain years, man, you know, the, the Lord have his men out there. All right, and it's teaching the word, being fishes to gather fruit, to to bid them to the marriage. So it says, "Behold, the days come, say the Lord, power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord." And that's what you're not going to hear anymore. You're not going to see the prophets because we at the end. Once the Lord removed the men, that's it. It's judgment upon this place, and that's. And the judgment is thermonuclear fire. All right, that's going to rain upon Babylon the Great, which is known today as America, which is going to be the lake of fire written in the Book of Revelation, verse twelve. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it, because in that day when distress and anguish come up upon you. You're going to be seeking for those men who you call crazy. You're going to be seeking for those men who you thought was 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 was, was uh, just out to yell and scream at people. All right. But well, really, they was out to prophesize and to and to have you to repent. But if you're not of the elect, you're going to be seeking for those men. Why? Because you're going to be seeking for answers. And ultimately, you're going to be seeking for salvation. But guess what? The doors of repentance are going to close. And that's your judgment, which is thermonuclear fire. It says, In that day shall the fair virgin and the young men faint for thirst. And that thirst is not going to be of bread and water. It's going to be of the word. It's going to want to know what's the Lord's name. But guess what? Faith without works is dead. Your works, you ain't going to have any works, man. All right? Because the doors of repentance will be closed. All right? So this is um Ezekiel. Chapter 3, verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. And guess what? The Lord is going to make the tongue of the prophets to cleave, their tongue to cleave to the roof of their mouth. That means that they're not going to be able to prophesy anymore. They're not going to be able to go out there and teach and warn, condemn, reprove, rebuke, because the Lord is going to shut them up, so that what? Judgment come upon you two-thirds, man, because the Lord said what? You are a rebellious house. You refuse. And one precept uh, for that, um, this is Proverbs, like the Lord said, you because you, ref you, you refuse. It says Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man will guard it. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. 
and would none of my reproof. And that's you two thirds. You were said at none of his reproof. Here it is, we to tell you, breaking down the strongholds, telling you that the so-called white man is your enemy, telling you that his biblical name is Edom, forefathers Esau of the scriptures, but you won't be corrected because you want to fight for him. You want to join hands with him. You know, he had to tell you homosexuals is going to get put to death by the Lord. But you want to fight against that. You want to justify wickedness. You see? So it says, But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. Yeah, when like the scripture in Amos. When you run to and fro, that thirst, looking for those men. When your fear come, the Lord said he's going to mock. I will mock when your fear come. When your fear come as desolation, because he's going to be isolated. No one around you. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, which is fast. When distress and anguish come up upon you, when you vexed in the spirit. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall find me not. It's like it. They shall not find me. For that they hate knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. All right. The first thing to come in this truth is having the fear of the Lord, man. To acknowledging your sins and to repent. And to endure and to bear your cross until the end. It says, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my, my reproof, which is his correction, which is his men. That's out there to correct you. When you see your own people out there, you know, you know, telling you, you know, stop being a lesbian or, you know, basically telling you to repent. Stop eating them crab, shrimps, lobster, and pork. Stop worshiping these pagan holidays. Come up out of America because it's not your rest. You refuse. You despise all the Lord's reproof. It says, verse 31. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Okay? It says, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To, every, to everything there is a season and a time and to every purpose under the heaven. See? The Lord said there's a purpose in this. The Lord said to everything there is a season and a time and a purpose under the heaven. Why is that? Because there's a time for the men of the Lord to be set up, to teach, to break down strongholds, to warn, condemn, reprove, rebuke, to correct you, to prophesize. Then it's going to be a time for them to be removed from the streets. And we almost in that time, man, because we at the end of the end. We at the end of America's uh, queendom, okay? And it's going to be a time where the Lord is going to make his make the prophet's tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth. It's going to be no longer mercy for you two thirds, which is I'm talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and you Native American Indians. There's going to be no mercy for you. When the doors close of repentance, there's no mercy, and even for the cheerleaders out there. For you men that's out there that's on the sideline, you 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 you, you with your pom poms and you cheering on, but you haven't came into the body, you haven't moved into the you haven't came in, uh, into the uh, fold, you're gonna be left out too. The Lord said, either you with me or you against me, man. So you don't want to wait. You know this is for the elect, man. If you a man of the Lord and you out there seeking the Lord, you've been watching brothers through the tube. Get your ass out there in them camps, man. Get out there. Don't wait until this thing. Because, hey, we don't know what, what time will it end. And we know what's at the end now. Shit. Another hour from now, we could be in martial law. You got to think of it like that. The Lord said, hasten the day. Pray for a few days unto you. So it says, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to... To speak a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace all right so this is uh jeremiah chapter 16 verse 16 
It says, Behold, I will send for many fishes, say the Lord, and they shall fish them. And what are those fishes? Those fishes is who? The elect. Those fishes are those prophets that you see prophesizing, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It says, And after will I send for many hunters. Why would the Lord going to send for many hunters? Because those fishes that were fishes, they're going to be turned into hunters. And if they was fishes of fishes of men, then they're, they're going to be hunters and hunters of men. So when the Lord turned these prophets into terminators, it's over. It says, and after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And it's talking about you Edomites because we know where you're going to hide, man. You're going to hide in the rocks and the mountains. You're going to hide in your bunkers under the ground. You're going to ride on, you're going to hide on an island places somewhere, man. You're going to try to hide in the depths of the sea. For you niggas, for you bitches, you two-thirds, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you wicked ones, all right? You're going to be hunted down like a dog in the street. The Lord said, they shall be willing in the day of thy power, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, prayers, blessings, and salutations to the elect that's teaching his word with sincerity and truth, and that's teaching in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom.